Welcome back to New York Viewpoint. I'm Ken Rosato. With the growth of aging baby boomers, the number of Americans age 65 and up is expected to double in the next 25 years. Elders and their families face a host of care-related challenges, including struggles over guardianship, long-distance caregiving, as well as the potential for abuse. Please join me in welcoming Jack Halpern, who is the CEO and founder of My Elder Advocate, who has had more than 41 years' experience as a former nursing home executive. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, what led you to create My Elder Advocate? What was the impetus and your mission in that? The impetus was I started to work in nursing homes when I was 24 years old. I'm now 66. Uh, at first I thought I was a little crazy, but when I got into a nursing home, I started to meet um, a lot of the elders, and I discovered from them the way they wanted to be treated, and uh, had sort of an epiphany. I met a guy named Sam who's a quadriplegic, and he taught me a lot, and I decided that this is the field that I was going to stay in and help elders get uh, dignified, safe, and and uh, uh, good care. Okay. So, well, what, are, what would you say some of the most uh, common care-related crises are uh, affecting elders some today? Some of the most common care-related um, crises are certainly people over 65 or 70 have a very good chance of ending up in a hospital, mm -hmm. maybe with a... Uh, maybe with uh, breaking a hip or having a stroke. So they go into the hospital and face what I call uh, hospital chaos. They might have to spend some time in a nursing home for rehabilitation. Some have to spend time uh, long term. They might face a situation with long distance caregiving uh, where uh, uh, mom's in one state and uh, the children are in another state. They might even face issues with nursing homes where there's neglect and abuse. So what tips would you have in anticipating potential challenges among the elderly? What should we do to prevent any potential challenges that could arise now? Well, certainly, certainly elders after a certain age, I would say about 60, they have to get their legal documentation in order. They must have a health care proxy. They must have a power of attorney. They must deal with physicians, not just the regular GPs. They have to see them on a regular uh, basis. They have to have their financial house in order. Um, they have to consult aging in place, make sure their homes are ready for when they uh, become older. Uh, and uh, certainly they should have discussions with their families. Let their families know what their situation is so the family can help at the time of crisis. Mm -hmm. And the, I know it's something that people never like to think about, getting older and being a burden. So, I mean, should they, should they plan the inevitable? Should they plan the, when the day comes, the, the funeral and the expenses? And, the, and should, should that be something that should all be plotted out in advance? Planning is the, uh, is the essential element in all of this. I think many people think that they're going to uh, have an elder, uh, you know, an elder care event or they might have to go to a hospital. They think they're going to be in a hospital and be able to recuperate quickly or they might go into a beautiful, uh, into a beautiful facility for rehabilitation, but that's not the way it happens. Hospitals are quick to get people out, quick to get them into rehab in nursing homes. And so certainly planning is, is an essential part of this. Okay, and, and what about uh, the difference between, say, some of the public cent uh, hospitals, some of the private facilities? I, I mean, there are different price points, too, for seniors. And so should people be really doing their homework now to see what is best for, for the, in terms of what you have Absolutely. in terms of your income? They have to do their homework. They have to do things like get long-term care insurance. Um, they have to see what resources are in their areas. Uh, they can't just wait for the event uh, to happen, so they must uh, be
many, many situations, they have to consult professionals early, consult elder advocates to do planning with them so they know what to do every step of the way. Once you plan these things uh, and there's an emergency situation, a professional can come in and deal with it right away. Yeah, I'm in my late 40s and I now am at the age where I have all my friends who are now going through and I have gone uh, in the process of going through with my parents. This is the age where you prepare and I now know people who are just 10 years older who some prepared, some didn't. And the ones who didn't are the ones going through the nightmares. So Absolutely. it really is so important to prepare, isn't it? It is very, very important to prepare. It's important to become knowledgeable. It's even important to begin to go to support groups. Uh, maybe with their parents to find out what's going on. This is, this is something that you can't be in an emergency and then suddenly hit a website and start yeah. to learn what the process is. What about setting up like a trust or things like that with parents? For uh... Well certainly for Medicaid purposes uh, people should be setting up uh, a trust. They should be consulting elder law attorneys uh, mm -hmm. to help them do with that so that they can cover the costs and uh, so you know many people will go to an elder law attorney can prepare a trust for them and trust for their children so that they don't go into a facility and have to spend a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars a year look into it look Definitely into it and right. get long-term care insurance long-term care insurance is like is like life everything. insurance of the old days mr. Halpin thank you so much for having we're out of time but it is so essential don't think it'll just get done. It is good to have you here today, sir. And I'm Ken Rosado. We thank you again for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much.